Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I wanted to do a quick video kind of spotlighting this new feature that we got with Year 5 Season 2 of The Division 2, and I think it is by far the most underrated new addition this season that not a lot of people are talking about. And I can't necessarily blame them, this was a feature and addition that the devs kind of kept a secret, and it was sprung as a surprise on us on the reveal stream the day before the update went live. Prior to that, we had no idea that this was coming. But in this video, I just wanted to give the spotlight that I think it kind of deserves, because not only is it something that people have been recording, Questing for quite a long time, but I think it was implemented rather smartly. And so today we're talking about the new Legacy Season Manhunt system that got added to The Division 2. If you have not checked this out, all you need to do is go to the regular Manhunt tab in your map where you can see the current season targets and all of that. I'm not sure what button it would be on PC, you can check your keybinds on the screen, but at the bottom left you'll see that if you click X on controller it will turn into Legacy Manhunts. And what this does is that they've now created a hub for all past seasons. And this does a bunch of things. You can now see the layout from season one all the way to year five season one, you know, prior to this current season that we're in. It assigns chronological dates to all of them. You can see that season one took place all the way back in August, which was shortly after the events of Warlords of New York. And now current day year five season one is mid-October. They also provide a text recap of what happened in each season so that if you didn't play those in the past, you have a general sense of what the overall season was about. And then they let you go and launch every prime mission from each of the past seasons right in this screen green and legacy manhunt system which was always available you were able to go to the various missions around the world and set them to the manhunt difficulty and then play through it but not only was that kind of convoluted for newer players who didn't really know about the mission switching type of toggle and all of that stuff it also didn't really tell you if you didn't have the mission where or how you could get it and this does if you don't have any of these past missions unlocked it will say you need to get to rank whatever on the season pass which is where all of those have been housed for the past several seasons so overall, I just think this new Legacy Manhunt system is awesome. A lot of people have been asking for quite a while for some sort of story recap system to be in-game. Of course, we have great, you know, creators and recaps online that you can check out to catch up on what happened. But I always think providing those resources in-game is the most valuable way that they can go about it because that is what everyone is playing. And so this is just really cool to see, especially, like I said, because they kept this a surprise right until the update was launching. This is a big deal. They created a lot of new UI and assets to make this work. Now, it is worth noting that this system does not allow you to replay the entirety of those old manhunts, although to be honest, when people ask for that feature, I'm not really sure why. I get that it's technically more content you'd be able to play, but really you're just replaying the same missions that are available everywhere else in the game, and some of the seasons definitely overlap on which areas are used and all of that. There wouldn't be much difference between them in my mind. Now, the two valid reasons I see for asking for that is one, people want to be able to access the blueprints from past seasons, but I don't know if people know this, that was actually something they addressed last season in year five, season one. All of those old seasonal blueprints from, like I said, every past season up until now is available in two places, either the loot pool from control point if you don't have any and you go and complete control points when you open up the chest, it will add a new blueprint to your inventory. And also, if you play Descent, the reconstructed caches in there also offer those same blueprints to be added to your collection. So those are already available in game. I know people also want to be able to collect the comms and the lore entries from these past seasons. That's certainly a valid request. However, the devs did confirm on the year five season two stream that while that is not currently in game, they do intend to make it a feature in the future where you can collect those comms from this same legacy manhunt system. Again, I don't think they're going to just allow you to replay the entire manhunt, but they did say that they're just going to tie that into replaying the prime target missions. And that way you'll be able to collect pretty much all of the old stuff from the old seasons without having to play you know, the, the entirety of the manhunts, which like I said, is mostly reused content. So yeah, overall, I just wanted to showcase this new legacy manhunt system. I think it's a really awesome addition to year five season two. And it's one that if you did not know about, you should absolutely check out. It's a great new addition. It's going to help out a lot of people. Like I said, I think who have wanted that kind of story recap for quite a while. And I think it moves the needle in a great direction towards making the division two that more cohesive and full package experience that we all wanted to be. So yeah, really happy to see this in game. That's a look at the system, but I want to know your guys' thoughts on it. Have you already checked out this legacy season manhunt system? If this is the first time you're seeing it what are your immediate thoughts and what other additions or changes if any would you like to see to this in the future if you enjoy breakdowns and content like this i regularly post about the division 2 and everything involving the division so i would greatly appreciate you considering to click that subscribe button but that is going to do it for me today my friends thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one rogue gold out